The pros and cons of positive pressure ventilation, or PPV, are still debated in the American Fire Service. Like any tactical tool, it has advantages and disadvantages. When properly applied, PPV is very effective. When misapplied, PPV has negative consequences. This program is intended to give you an overview of PPV procedures and explain these consequences. PPV is the tactical application of positive pressure airflow from mechanical devices to ventilate heat and fire gases from structural fire compartments. The objective of PPV is to reduce heat and smoke conditions and improve visibility by venting combustion products through a controlled exit point. Ventilation activities are often referred to as truck work because most ladder trucks do the ventilation work in urban fire departments. However, many suburban and rural fire departments utilize engine or rescue units to provide ventilation. As a result, ventilation should be viewed as a function conducted by a ventilation group regardless of which corresponding companies do the actual work. In the incident command system, the ventilation group is usually supervised by a company officer who reports to the operations section or incident commander. Some of the key factors we need to know when establishing PPV at a fire. One of the things is construction type, the location and extent of the fire in the building, whether the fire involves contents within the building or the structure itself, and the location of any trapped victims that are in the building, whether if we use PPV it would push the fire towards the victims, and that's something we would not want to do. It's a real efficient way of ventilating a building as long as you're not going to push the fire into void spaces, into concealed spaces, which can happen very easily. PPV tactics require coordination between the incident commander and the operating companies. In many urban fire departments, a ladder company officer is responsible for ventilation activities, including PPV tactics. In other cases, a second due engine may be responsible. The important point is the incident commander and company officers are in the loop regarding PPV tactics. One of the most important considerations when using positive pressure ventilation at a fire scene is the control of the fire and the ability that you have to control it, such as the available manpower and proper size hose lines in place ready to put the proper amount of water on the fire. Also exposure considerations. You don't want your vent opening to be on the exposure side of the building if that's an issue at the fire because you could theoretically push the fire into an exposure building, which you do not want to do. Again, the most important consideration to emphasize is the building construction type. Okay, older type construction with void spaces you know, positive pressure ventilation may not be the best choice. The incident commander and firefighting personnel must ensure that a fire area is structurally safe before entry. This is especially important in buildings constructed with lightweight construction methods. NIOSH now recommends that lightweight constructed buildings should not be entered if there is flame impingement on the structural elements. For example, flame exposure to a roof or floor system can result in total structural failure of the system within minutes. Remember, the use of PPV isn't recommended for all building types. It may not be the best choice for every situation. Okay, sometimes natural ventilation may be the best choice, such as opening the roof, vertical ventilation, and coordinated horizontal ventilation with proper application of hose lines. Most fire departments use gas engine powered fans for PPV because the fans have more power than traditional electric smoke ejectors. For example, a 24 inch fan has a flow capacity of approximately 14,000 cubic feet per minute. One precaution when using gas engine fans is that they produce carbon monoxide. Breathing apparatus is required for carbon monoxide protection. <laughs> 